with the release of Fallout 76, I was thinking of some of our lesser known atomic history. Today I want to share the story of the M65 Atomic Cannon, often called Atomic Annie. Today I'm at the Rock Island Arsenal, which compromises 946 acres and is located between the cities of Davenport, Iowa and Rock Island, Illinois. This M65 atomic cannon is the centerpiece in Rock Island Arsenal's Memorial Park, only one of many interesting sites you may see here. The M65 was an artillery piece developed in the early 1950s at the beginning of the Cold War and fielded by 1953 in Europe and South Korea. The cannon was transported by two specially designed tractors, both capable of independent steering in the same manner of some extra long fire trucks. The combination could achieve speeds of 35 miles per hour on road and 10 miles per hour off road and negotiate right angle turns on roads of at least 28 feet in width. The artillery piece could be unlimbered in 15 minutes, fired, then returned to traveling configuration in an additional 15 minutes. On May 25, 1953, the atomic cannon was tested at the Nevada test site, Frenchman Flat, under the test code name Grable. The test resulted in the successful detonation of a 15 kiloton W9 warhead. The time is 0830. The date, 25 May, 1953. Four, three, two, one. With a degree of accuracy four times greater than any gun developed before World War II, the 280 millimeter gun has proven its worth. Capable of delivering the atomic shell some 13 miles under any weather condition, day or night, the big gun provides more accurate and damaging support to ground troops than any other gun in the recorded history of warfare. This was the first and only nuclear shell to be fired from a cannon. After the successful test, at least 20 of the cannons were manufactured at the cost of $800,000 each. They are deployed overseas to Europe and Korea, frequently shifted around to avoid being detected and targeted by opposing forces. Due to the size of the apparatus, their limited range, and the development of rocket and missile based nuclear artillery, the M65 was effectively obsolete as soon as it was deployed. However, it remained in use until its retirement in 1963. Of the 20 M65s produced, at least seven currently still survive on display, with most no longer having their prime movers attached. The original Atomic Annie that fired the live nuclear shot is on display at the U.S. Army Artillery Museum at Fort Sill, Oklahoma. Until next time, stay weird.